Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. All right, what is this? Day number what, 16, 17, I don't know. Um, that our president has decided to shut down the government. As you know, uh, a lot of people are suffering right about now. I'm one of them. But the fact remains that I am not surprised because I know that we are dealing with someone, in my opinion, with severe personality uh, disorder traits. He's like some type of sociopath, um, psychopath, narcissistic for sure. Like it, it Maybe narcissistic personality disorder. Sci a sociopath. I'm not a therapist, I'm not a psychiatrist, but that he says seems to be on that continuum. Um, and with that being said, a lot of y'all might get mad, but there's some things that I agree with Donald Trump about. I do agree that we need to, um, unfortunately, um, things have gotten to this. Um, and although it is an issue of chickens coming home to roost, and everything has its day, the time to have shut off the borders or to at least minimize the uh, people. Most countries have borders. And, um, you know, but if you believe in this manifest destiny stuff and, and all that shit, then, of course, this is the issue. But if you want to know the truth, I, I don't think that we can afford to have um, undocumented or people just bum rushing the border and coming over here and committing all types of crazy stuff like Donald Trump said. Um, I remember a neighbor of mine, and I don't know if y'all remember this, back when all those Cubans was up under the bridge, I think this was like in the mid-70s, you know, like time kind of eludes me sometimes. But there was a time when I told y'all that Castro emptied out his asylum pretty much and allowed the folks to come over here for some type of respite, some type of, um, you know, uh, you know what they call it, amnesty. And so we had all those people coming over here that were just insane. But a friend of mine, well, she wasn't really a friend of mine. Somebody I knew, the neighbor, knew someone who had let one of the Cubans stay in her house. And of course, and I'm not saying this to say all Cubans, but because Castro had emptied out his jail, there was a considerable amount of those folks that was killing people when they would have sponsors that would allow them to live in their homes, okay? And these people, most of them, of course, were white folks. And I'm not saying that that was good because they were white folks. The sad part about it is they called themselves helping somebody um, and they were a lot of them were just maimed and killed and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying it was a big rash, but it was a big enough for us to realize, damn, what's wrong with these, these these people? So that's when you know Castro had to laugh and say, hey, you got the worst of our society, because like someone said, the best don't leave. You know, when 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 there's a crisis or an exodus that has to happen, you're not finding people that stable and secure. Them. They ain't leaving. They ain't going nowhere. It's the ones that in a in in a bad situation. Usually, I mean, not always, but usually it's the ones that are are are, you know, not doing too well. Let's just put it like that. Those are the ones that usually run and try to find something else, find another place to to go. So what I'm saying is you have to consider those things. And so when Donald Trump does say that about the border, that's probably the only thing I agree with him with it. At some point, we have to secure the border some type of way. Um, now, that, does that mean uh, 
build a wall that the taxpayers has to pay have to pay for and all this kind of stuff. No, 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 no. Not in my opinion. You have to come up with another way, and I don't think it should be um that you should try to hold the American public hostage and blackmail when in your campaign you said that Mexico was gonna pay for it. And to this uh what's his name? Uh, Decente Fox says, you crazy? We ain't paying for shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had, I had a moment. So, I mean, I don't understand why he would even say something like that, that Mexico will pay for the wall. Now, that was out of order. And at the end of the day, I don't think that the taxpayers should pay for it either. So, now, however, I agree with what needs to happen. Um, there's a lot of things that I agree with that needs to happen, but he's not addressing half of them. This government shutdown is not fair, in my opinion, and I wish that Donald Trump, in his all his madness, would just not make all of us um, suffer, you know, for his grandeur, delusions of grandeur, and that's just what's happening. Um, this man is just you know, he's a bit much in a society that has gotten to be too much. All right. With that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.